What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Chase, the office edition. Uh, this week's episode, I've got two awesome hunts that we're going to play out for you guys. First one, ground decoy hunt. We had an awesome set. No, didn't have any encounters with a shooter. Well, we saw two shooters, but they were far off. Didn't have great footage of them. But uh, had some other bucks do some fun stuff. So enjoy that hunt. And then the second hunt, I went into the river farm, got a series of pictures of a deer, uh, and decided I was going to kill him the next morning. And we had them at 10 yards. So catch that hunt. And then uh, at the end of this, I'll kind of explain that just a little bit. Good morning. It is November 11th and we just got to the farm. Zeb and I, see old Zebedai over here. We are, uh, gonna go have some fun this morning gonna do a short hunt this morning probably can only hunt till like 8 30 9 o'clock we got the show that got to post today and everything and uh just a lot of kills to get done but we're gonna go over to this northeast corner of the farm like i've talked about like i want to and we're gonna decoy so i've never ran a decoy in the morning before but we're gonna see how it goes so it's about 5 24 got an hour before shooting so we're gonna get in there pretty quick and get set up we'll talk to you guys soon the little buck that we rattled out across the hill just to see if we could get him to come in. He's standing down here in the bottom now looking back at the decoy. Well good morning. It has been quite fun and quite eventful so far this morning. We are at six bucks and nine does and uh, most of the stuff has been farther out. Zeb is convinced we saw the short time 10. I'm not so convinced this morning. I think we saw a shorter time 9, but he's about 700 yards away, so I couldn't quite tell what it was in the binos, but uh, we'll look at the footage later and kind of figure it out, but it's been a sweet morning. I'm just having a lot of fun. You know, sometimes it's, I love hunting on a tree stand, but I mean, when I first started hunting, I was, I ground hunted most of the time on public, just didn't feel like carrying the climber with me and uh, got deep into some spots, but it's always fun to do a little ground hunting. Our setup's not 100% ideal. Um, the little buck that we did have come into the decoy, he was actually on the hill. And I just said, Zeb, let's see if we can rattle him in. And I just tickled the antlers a little bit. <laughs> we were watching some other deer on the hill and he popped up at 40 yards. You can see there's a rise behind me. You can't quite see over, but we are set up down in this uh, northeast corner of the farm. And part of the reason I want to come here today is see if I can find a tree down in the timber. I also thought it would be a good spot to see, use the decoy, 
and do a little calling. Obviously, we're on the tail end of when that's going to be effective. You've got does starting to come in. Most of the mature bucks have probably found a doe by now. And, but we still kind of are in the seeking phase. We're not quite in the lockdown. So, matter of fact, it's not a deer, but you always got to look. But we're set up in this northeast corner. Uh, there's a couple trees along this fence line. And we just kind of brushed ourselves in. And then we're blowing a west, which is actually starting to switch to northwest like they forecasted today. So uh, just kind of cut it back behind us. And I do think that some deer might cruise that lower edge of the CRP. And uh, it's possible to get our wind, you know, on a windy day like this. I think we still stand a chance. There's a bunch of, oh, Chase, big buck behind us, big buck behind us. goes. We just got packed up. I don't know. We keep seeing deer. Just deer, deer running everywhere. And I got work to do. So we, uh, we are coming back and getting a tree stand up in this. There's two trees and it's going to be a spot. And I don't care what time of November it is, we're gonna kill there. We're killing there, this is what it is. All right, Zeb, you ready? Let's go have some fun. <laughs> I'm loving it. What a day, what a day.
suggestions for this farm and I appreciate everybody giving us name there were some creative ones but my wife is pretty stuck on the otter farm with the otters we found right here so it's been a pretty cool morning so far I've uh, seen a doe two fawns uh, spike was pushing them through the field saw another buck cut in the field farther off and then just had a beautiful guy out come up I don't know, 150, 200 yards away. So I'd be lying if I wasn't saying I was excited for coyote season. I love night hunting coyotes with my buddies. Like, it's just a good time. It's a little bit carefree, and I don't know. That's a pretty dog. So the sun is just peeking over the trees right now, as you can see behind me. And uh, we've got does bedded in the peninsula, or maybe they cross the river, but... I think they're bedded back in the peninsula. And on an east wind, which has kind of got a little more northeast to it now, but it's supposed to get more easterly as we go and then eventually to southeast, that entire thing will blow you back across the creek here. And with an east wind, if they cruise this edge, or really anywhere in this little strip of timber, you're just cruising the downwind side of all this, and then they can connect over to this timber. It's possible they would use the creek crossing right here and cut across with the, but that would have the wind at their back. So I think they would come through here, make a loop, and then check the downwind side of the other peninsula on the other side. So it's all speculative, but it's what I think would happen. I'm excited. We had a, one shooter show up last night and, and couldn't tell as far as maturity. He knew it was a decent antler deer, but I really want to shoot a mature deer. And I uh, pictured it out last night, pretty confident in that. And uh, if we see him in person, we'll make a call. Should be a pretty good morning. I'm excited. Got the old camera, me, the GoPro, the other camera. Probably knock the antlers together here in a little bit. And thermals aren't quite pushing up yet. Just give it a little bit longer. We're going to sit tight. Have a good morning.
sun. I saw him going to the timber and I just, I can't see right now. last night he looked mature but he came down the field edge stuck in the timber i mean just the sun glare i lost him and he must have got back in this thick stuff over here and i gave him that grunt and that snort wheeze and i looked over and he's right here 40 yards coming up and had him at 10 yards doesn't look mature. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. And the other thing is like running the camera, trying to get the binos on him and make a judgment call. It's like I just didn't have time to process and I just, oh man. Well, he was in here and we, uh, we got him in bow range. So that's a bad, that's a small success. You know, I mean, that's great if we, we had to call Adam to get him in, but who cares, you know? I mean, pick the stand out in the summer, have hunted it, this would be the third hunt out of this stand. And to have, I mean, we can call him a target buck. That's the buck we came in here to see today. And uh, I said I, I wanted to see him, and we saw him. Got the juices flowing a little bit, I can tell you that. You know, the trail cams got me on that one. Uh, yeah, just the angle of the body, it just, I thought it was a mature deer. The pictures I got that night didn't recognize him. Lo and behold, I got one picture of that deer during the summer and a uh, clear three-year-old, you know, young deer during the summer and I just didn't remember it. I did make one more hunt this week. I'm gonna dive into that spot on the next chase episode. Uh, we're gonna hunt that on the next Northwest wind. We did hunt it once and lo and behold, the Winkle daylighted after we had left. We sat till about lunchtime and he came by at two o'clock in the afternoon. Something you see this time of year, a lot of the times that midday movement when they're coming off does is really prevalent. And I think it's something we're gonna key in on. Uh, I think Wednesday's the day I'm planning on doing that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of The Chase. Uh, catch back up next week. Gavin's gonna have two tips for you guys. He's uh, been busy this week with Mike filming. So they're after some deer and 
we talked, I was like, we'll just we'll give them a double bonus or a really good tip for next week as far as a video production tip goes. So look forward to that as well as my hunting is coming up, going out with Abby tomorrow, then for sure gonna be out Tuesday and Wednesday. We've got some rain coming, gonna navigate that and see what happens. So thank y'all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed and we'll catch up with you next week.